Hi! Hey guys, it is that time. I have gotten my Trop Exotic Mystery Box. Um, I am super excited. I've been waiting for her to launch her mystery boxes. I got a medium one. Uh, it ran me about a hundred bucks. Uh, I wanted to go a little bigger. They start at 50 and go up. They go up very high, so lots of options. Um, you guys know I've been on Trop Exotic Kick Wiggly and I absolutely adore mystery boxes. My reasoning behind that is I don't typically splurge and buy fun stuff for myself, you know? Um, but with mystery boxes, I can say, you know, because they typically come with acrylic and it's all nail art stuff, I can say that it's supplies and justify it. But then I get that fun bonus stuff for myself that I wouldn't normally buy. So I absolutely love them, my favorite favorite. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, let's start first. There was some stuff that I ordered for myself, like uh, the Flamingo was mine outside of this order, but we're gonna swatch it at the end anyway. So we'll go through and then at the end, we'll come back and swatch the acrylic. Sound good? Good. All right, next up we have, ooh, special gift. What's that? Ooh, it's a glitter. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Up next, ooh. We have Cotton Candy, I love it. Key West, nice. Now remember, this was separate. Oh, Mermaid Water and Candy Apple Green. These are all beautiful summer colors. They're perfect, I love this pastel blue. All right, Mermaid Water. And we're gonna come back and uh, swatch those, so. Let's start with the small stuff. We got stickers. All right, we got hearts and bubbles. I love those, those are adorable. And it's got like every color in them, so it'll go with basically any acrylic. And we got Snoopy. I know, I know my nails aren't done yet. Um, I have been dyeing my hair and it is a process because I'm going from uh, like dirty blonde to pink and blue. So my hands won't fit in the gloves with nails on, so. I had to do like three processes of blonde and then the pink and blue, so I had to wait till I was done. Tonight's the last step, so I'm gonna have my nails back. All right, next up, we got some of her branded glue, which I hear really good things about. Ooh, okay. We have abalone shells. These are gorgeous and they have like an opalescent look about them. Um, you see these used in like Native American jewelry a lot with turquoise because they're a natural, ugh. Why am I so bad at this? Okay, we're just gonna look at it in the jar. Those are gorgeous, I love them. And they come in all different colors, but I like the white because they pretty much go with everything. We have blue caviar. Look at that. Ooh, it is chock full too. Very full. It looks like, uh, looks like literal caviar. I'm a mess, that is very full. Everything is, yeah, all of her products are always chock, like completely full to the top. Ooh, hot pink mylar. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I'm using that in my nails. That is beautiful. And it's not see-through. I mean, it is a little. It's not completely opaque, but it's hot pink. I love that. Oh, I love that. That'll go with my blue. Next up, we have hoops and a lot of them. Like hoops forever for the piercings and whatnot. So that's gonna last me a long time. I will never need another hoop, straight up. All right, up next. Oh Lord. Okay, we have Kawaii Charms. Not one, not two, but three. And these are adorable. They have popsicles, Barbie mirrors, a duck. Um, <laughs> they have the little uh, gummy candy charms. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. They look like the sugared gummy candy. There's a bunch of those in here. Uh, there's some Christmas charms. There's some fish, hearts, donuts, buttons, coat hangers, clouds. I know that these little bags run $20 a piece, so that's $60 just in charms. 
the acrylic is 15 a piece so that's 60 to 75 just in acrylic so we're well over what i spent here not counting my other all right and the last thing which almost gave me a heart attack straight up these are 25 dollars by themselves because pom-poms cost a lot especially the good ones that are magnetic these are magnetic you seat the magnet in the acrylic and then oh. <laughs> And then you can take the pom-pom on and off so that you can wash your hands and whatnot. And it has every, it, it's all of them. It's all of the pom-poms. I have some pom-poms that I got from House of Supplies, but I'm afraid to use them because I only have like two. So I will be using pom-poms on everything. So this is what it came with, which I am more than happy with my purchase. Like straight up, this is way more than what I spent and I am just ecstatic. So, let me get this put away, and then we will come back and do the swatches. Be right back. All right, we are back. I am going to say Flamingo for last because I may be wrong, but that looks like the coral that I have been trying to color match for over a year now. And it looks almost exact. The one from Neo Nails that I was in love with. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. So, I'm going to save that one for last because it's my favorite. <laughs> All right, we are starting out with candy apple cream. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, let's get a big old bead of that. I know you're looking for it and it's not there. That, uh, that white ring. See what I mean? It can appear somewhat chalky and then as soon as you touch it, it turns that marshmallowy consistency. And it just moves so beautifully. It's like it just melts. To move it up a little bit. So you can see what I mean about the self-leveling, how when I run my brush across it, it just kinda, the brush marks kinda dissolve. And they just kinda absorb back into the acrylic. And I did pretty, pretty thin layers on here. which is hard for me because I want to keep playing in it. So I tend to try to keep adding bead after bead after bead because I'm a mess and this is what I do for fun. I love swatch day. I love it. And this is twice this week I've got to play in acrylic hers specifically because it is gorgeous. Up next, we have mermaid water. This one's a very bright green, but with a deep blue base. It's weird. I love it. So this one's super pigmented, so it looks a little dry until you touch it again, obviously, and then it gets gets that liquid texture, that kind of marshmallowy, buttery vibe. Oof, look at that. I'm just gonna work it down the nail. Oh, I love it. That is beautiful. Self-leveling. Let's get one more bead. Pop that up there. Next up, we have special gifts. I like her, you guys know my issue with glitters. Um, 
I love our glitters because they stay in the acrylic and you don't have a ton of like it's not all in your brush. I'll show you my monomer at the end so you can see how much came off. And it's very glitter dense, which normally when it's that packed with glitter, you have a lot of it come off and hers just don't, which I love. And you don't have a lot of see-through with just a regular bead. Like you can make it thin enough if you want it sheer, but you just don't have a lot of free space. You know what I mean? with just a regular bead, which I appreciate a lot. And you just don't lose a lot of it, it doesn't come off. I'm getting better with working with glitters. Or I'm buying better glitter acrylic, Trop Exotic, looking at you. <laughs> So maybe I'm getting better, maybe I'm just getting better at shopping. Maybe. That is so gorgeous. I love it. It is very emo, early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s emo goth. Which I was. I'll have to show you guys pictures. Um, dog change, trip pants, dickies, the whole nine. Like, I was a mess. I was an icon. <laughs> I have a picture of me and Ronald McDonald where I have black and white sh skunk striped hair. Oh, it just... I felt special. <laughs> get that top part and then I will show you guys my monomer and show you how much glitter I lost. I tried to use some slick pour yesterday and it was oh my god it was everywhere. There we go. That is a gorgeous Oh, very goth Barbie. Oh, yes, Kia got some goth Barbie. This reminds me of that. Just the black and hot pink, which is really hard to find any good black and hot pink, you know? All right, let's check out the monomer real quick. No glitter. A little acrylic down there, but no glitter. Which, awesome. I like that. All right, so up next we have Key West, right? Okay wasn't going to do this because I didn't want anybody to think I was putting down a certain company, but I realized that I have this similar color in a big name, a very big company from a very big company. Not exact, but it's close, right? Close enough that we can do a comparison, I think. Um, and I wanted to highlight the difference in the product. So, because you hear me oohing and on, but you don't really get to see why. And now I can show you. So I'm going to show you. So this is what you typically get out of pastels, you know, lighter pastel colors. So you see that separation? Great quality acrylic, but the color's not, not doing it, you know? It marbles, it's very separated. Right? Let me finish building this so that, you know, I did it correctly. Now, if you work with it a little bit, you can get that color to kind of blend a little better, but you can still see the striping and the banding in it. Let's finish it up. And no, I'm not gonna say who it is because, eh. It's nothing personal. But this is a very big brand, right? Okay, so, and that's pretty typical, right? 
I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. You guys see the banding and the stripes and the marbling? Okay, so, and typically the more you work it, the better that color will blend, but it's still there, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that right there. Now let's do Key West, right? Drop exotic, okay. Colors completely even all the way around. Very buttery marshmallow-like consistency, but look at the color. Do you see the difference? I do. I very much see the difference. And I just, it wasn't to put anybody else down, it was just to highlight the quality of these products, which is why I didn't say any names, although some of you might know who it is. Maybe. If you watch my other videos. I got a lot of grief for showing that on that video. <laughs> like, they told me I was doing it wrong. I'm like, okay, well, how do I do it to make it not do that, you know? What do I do? How do I do it correctly? Tell me, I would love to know. So let's, do you see what I'm talking about? There is a distinct difference in Yeah, so moving on, we're not going to talk about that anymore. Up next, we have bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum. I like it. I love it. I love hot pink, but it's light. It's pastel. Let's see if we have any issues with it, right? No, we do not. And it lays with such a beautiful buttery consistency marshmallowy marshmallow fluff if you will work that down the nail beautiful see that color I dip my brush in it <laughs> This is such a gorgeous Barbie pink. Again, with the self-leveling, it does take a lot of work out of it, you know? If it actually self-levels correctly, it saves you so much trouble. Forgot the top. I like that you can move it around the nail without losing any of the color without losing any sh any coverage, for one. You can move it up and down and it will just level itself. Beautiful. Up next, and I'm pretty dang sure that this is the coral I was looking for. We have Flamingo. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's check it out. And that, again, marshmallow consistency. Beautiful. Just work it down the nail. I'm trying to thin it out. There we go, that's pretty thin. Like you can see, it's pretty thin. Push it back up a little. Yeah, this is exactly the color that I have been trying to color match for over a year. And nobody seems to, it's almost like a hot pink orange. If that, I, I don't know how to <laughs> explain it. It was one I saw on Nail Nails that I couldn't get at the time because they weren't shipping to America because of COVID and um, 
I just, I, I can't find it. I couldn't, I even talked to somebody who specializes in color matching and could not find it. And I'll be damned if this isn't it. This makes me happier than you will ever know. Leveling out beautifully. Oh, let me cover up over there. I love the movement that you get out of this without leaving a lot of like marks or, you know, chunks or whatever. Beautiful. I love it. All right, let's take a look at our colors here. Look at that, those are just beautiful. What? We. So now, looking at everything, do I think I got my money's worth? Absolutely. And then some. Um, and I've seen some people balk at the prices because, you know, they are a little higher than your bigger companies, but I think we need to remember that it's a small business and small businesses are not able to buy product in the, the amount that, you know, manufacturers require to give them a price break. And they need to make some kind of profit. Obviously, it's a business. You don't start a business to not make any money, right? So, I mean, the prices really aren't that much different. I mean, if we're being honest, maybe a dollar or two more. So I do absolutely think I got my money's worth. I am very happy. I will include the link in the description box for anybody that's interested. I'm going to use this stuff on my nails tonight. Um, again, let's, but also those bigger companies, you don't get the same quality of service. Do you know what I mean? You don't get the same attention to detail. You don't get the same level of care about the product. I feel like that's just my opinion. I have had a lot of luck with small businesses, but look at that. I just, I much prefer small businesses. I've had a lot of good luck with them. So, uh, again, I will put the link in the description box for anybody interested. And as always, thanks for watching.